Exodus 11, 1 through 12, 13. Strike 10, Death. God said to Moses, I'm going to hit Pharaoh and Egypt one final time, and then he'll let you go. When he releases you, that will be the end of Egypt for you. He won't be able to get rid of you fast enough. So here's what you do. Tell the people to ask, each man from his neighbor and each woman from her neighbor, for things made of silver and gold. God saw to it that the Egyptians liked the people. Also, Moses was greatly admired by the Egyptians, a respected public figure among both Pharaoh's servants and the people at large. Then Moses confronted Pharaoh. God's Message at midnight I will go through Egypt, and every firstborn child in Egypt will die. From the firstborn of Pharaoh, who sits on his throne, to the firstborn of the slave girl working at her hand mill, also the firstborn of animals. Widespread wailing will erupt all over the country, lament such as has never been and never will be again. But against the Israelites, man, woman, or animal, there won't be so much as a dog's bark, so that you'll know that God makes a clear distinction between Egypt and Israel. Then all these servants of yours will go to their knees, begging me to leave. Leave, you and all the people who follow you, and I will most certainly leave. Moses, seething with anger, left Pharaoh. God said to Moses, Pharaoh's not going to listen to a thing you say so that the signs of my presence and work are going to multiply in the land of Egypt. Moses and Aaron had performed all these signs in Pharaoh's presence. But God turned Pharaoh more stubborn than ever. Yet again he refused to release the Israelites from his land. God said to Moses and Aaron while still in Egypt, This month, is to be the first month of the year for you. Address the whole community of Israel. Tell them that on the tenth of this month, each man is to take a lamb for his family, one lamb to a house. If the family is too small for a lamb, then share it with a close neighbor, depending on the number of persons involved. Be mindful of how much each person will eat. Your lamb must be a healthy male, one year old. You can select it from either the sheep or the goats. Keep it pinned until the fourteenth day of this month, and then slaughter it. The entire community of Israel will do this at dusk. Then take some of the blood and smear it on the two doorposts and the lentil of the houses in which you will eat it. You are to eat the meat roasted in the fire that night, along with bread made without yeast and bitter herbs. Don't eat any of it raw or boiled in water. Make sure it's roasted, the whole animal, head, legs, and innards. Don't leave any of it until morning. If there are leftovers, burn them in the fire. And here's how you are to eat it. Be fully dressed with your sandals on and your stick in your hand. Eat in a hurry. It's the Passover to God. I will go through the land of Egypt on this night and strike down every firstborn in the land of Egypt, whether human or animal, and bring judgment on all the gods of Egypt. I am God. The blood will serve as a sign on the houses where you live. When I see the blood, I will pass over you. No disaster will touch you when I strike the land of Egypt.